Welcome back everyone to the Uniboro official YouTube channel. I'm your host Mitchell and in today's demo we're going to be talking about Salesforce communities. What I'm going to show you today is a community that we built out for a uh, private foundation uh, that gives out grants to uh, nonprofits. Uh, so this uh, this foundation came to us and they said uh, that their current solution uh, for getting applications was people would call them or send them emails or send them letters with the application. They would then take those and input them manually into their old database. And then whenever there was a status change of any sorts, they would then have to call them, email them, or send them a letter to update them on either uh, how they were accepted, uh, how they were rejected, or if any documents or anything was um, answered incorrectly. So as you can imagine, this process was very inefficient. So what we did is we built them out this community where they can, uh, where applicants can come online and apply for their application and see all their updates from this grant giving portal. So here is our demo org, our demo community, and I am playing the role of an applicant who's looking to get a grant. So I'm just quickly going over uh, what we're seeing on the screen. So this is um, the community. This is the portal that you have to log in to access. And on the top, we have a few tabs. We have some applications, um, any cases, any problems that arise, we can answer them here. And then there's a contact us. Uh, we have also down here another place to see your applications. Uh, you get a quick view of your status and when um, that application was created. So let's start. So let's click on the apply now button. Now this will bring us to uh, a different screen over here. So this screen actually pulls the information that was inputted uh, by the user when they created an account. So it actually even saves them a step. Uh, but if anything is incorrect here, uh, they can make any adjustments uh, that they want. Uh, for example, let's say they spell out their last name wrong. Uh, they can easily just make a quick fix here. And then this will update uh, their user record as well as their contact record. So everything looks good over here to me. I'm going to click on next. Uh, so now they are looking at some uh, organizational information. So they want some organization names. They want uh, their charitable uh, registration number. Um, so let's go ahead and start uh, filling these out. So for my organi organization name, let's say this is going to be called uh, Mitchell's Red Cross. Uh, we have a validation rule on the charitable registration number, so that needs to be uh, at least in the same format as a proper registration number. So I'm going to put that in. Uh, let's put the street. Let's just make up a nice address here. Uh, we are from Montreal, so let's put Montreal here. And let's put in just a postal code. Okay. So let's click Next. And now they're asking for some actual information about the project of what we're doing. So what are we actually going to give the money to? Uh, so let's start filling out some of this information here. All right, so let's fill this out. So this can say uh, bringing uh, shelter to those in need. Uh, how much are we requesting? Uh, we're going to ask for 25000 uh, what is the estimated budget for the project? Well, let's say we made um, already $5,000 uh, through our other funding. Uh, so that will bring our budget up to $30,000. Uh, we're going to request this for over two years. And when is the proposed start date? Uh, let's say our start date is going to be uh, in October. Let's say on the 21st. Uh, and then... This is going to last two years, so I'm just going to copy that date, place it here. And that's going to last two years, so let's, until be, uh, let's go to the 22nd. And now we can put a little description of what this project is. So we can just say that this project is about bringing shelter to those, oops, 
to those who might not otherwise have some. Okay, so let's click next. And now we're greeted with this, we're almost done screen. Uh, so all we have to do is click next to review and submit our application. So let's go ahead and do that. And now you're actually gonna see uh, an application form record. So what we just did was create a record in Salesforce. And so some of these fields are actually editable cells. So just in case we made any mistakes, we can make some last minute adjustments. Uh, so let's say um, I actually meant to put that we're in the office number uh, 103. I can add that over here and I can click on save. Now that we've made sure that everything is good and ready to go, I can click on this submit application button up over here. So when we click on that, uh, we're going to get a confirmation screen asking us if we're sure we want to submit. Uh, so yes, we want to. And so let's save. And now our application has been submitted. Uh, we can see that we have now a timestamp of when this was submitted. We even have down here in our chatter feed that we went from an open uh, application to a submitted application. And now none of these fields are editable. So now we will only see, we won't be able to edit. It, so that way we can only see the final, um, the final version of the application form. Okay, so now I'm pretty much done on the applicant side. So now let's go ahead and jump into Salesforce to see what uh, maybe a reviewer uh, would see. Here we are in Salesforce and I've clicked on my application form tab uh, and I see uh, that in my application form created today, I have this new one. Um, so let's go ahead and click on it. And now you can notice that some of this information is very similar to what we had on the applicant side. So we had that contact information, the organization information, as well as uh, some of that actual project information. But here at the top, uh, we have a little bit of different stuff. We have uh, fields for approof date, how much we're going to grant to them, how long we'll grant them for. We also have a little space for comments. Um, our decision, which is internal, so that they don't have to see this. And then we even have uh, the actual contact record uh, and their organization record uh, linked to this application form as well. Uh, so let's say I now want to, to update this. So I want to let them know uh, that their application form is getting reviewed. Uh, so I can change this to in progress and then I want to send this out for external review so I can click on external review here and I can save this record. Uh, furthermore though, uh, let's say uh, I want them to upload some files that were missing. So I can go ahead and head to the feed uh, and I can post. So I can say uh, please upload annual reporting from last year. So all I have to do to make sure that this is seen by the applicant is where this says to, I can just click all with access and I can share that. And what I think is pretty cool is that if you actually leave it as your uh, internal only, you can make comments only available to those that are internal and that the applicant won't actually see. So for example, I can write uh, need to review uh, with external reviewer will schedule call later. And I can share that as well from anyone who is an internal user. Okay, so now that I've made some changes to this, let's go back into the applicant uh, to see what they see uh, and see their updated application form. So here we are back in the applicant portal. Uh, we can now see that our stage is in progress and we can even see that reflected in our chatter feed. So we went from submitted to in progress. We can even see who is working on it. And on top of that, uh, we can see that now I've posted, well, uh, the reviewer has reposted um, to please upload the annual reporting from last year. But notice how we don't see that internal comment that the reviewer made uh, for himself or anyone else in the organization. Uh, so let's go ahead and upload um, those, that annual report that uh, the reviewer wants. 
So let's click on upload files. All right, so let's select this file. This is just a picture, but we'll just pretend that it is the annual report. And there we go. It is now uploaded into the files tab. And now for one last time, let's jump back into Salesforce as the reviewer. And we can see that that file is now shared here as well. So I guess we can do the final step and we can actually approve this application and award the grant. We can save that. Oh, so now it's asking us, since we're trying to award it, it's actually asking us for some certain information to make sure that we do this correctly. So, all right, let's approve it. This was approved today. Uh, we're going to give him the full 25,000 and we'll give it for him for three, for two years. All right, so now let's save it. And notice how in this grant, that a grant was actually automatically created. So we can click on that and we can see that all the details uh, for this grant that we just created for this application form. So that is a little demo and sneak peek of what uh, the communities can actually do. Uh, in this case, we used it for uh, grant giving in an application form, but this can be used for really anything that involves uh, submitting a document or submitting an application. This could be used for schooling, uh, for bursaries, for uh, volunteer registrations. The possibilities are pretty endless with communities. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.